Hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm continuing to do my top 10 of each Spongebob season by doing season 4. 10. Wishing you well. Mr. Krabs gets a Krusty Krab wishing well to make money, and naive Spongebob tries to dig down to the well to find where the magic is. This episode has a great song, is very funny, and had great character interactions between Spongebob, Patrick and Squidward. The only thing stopping it from being higher is Mr. Krabs, although nowhere near as bad, is doing what he didn't crabby and to a lesser extent. 9. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 6 The Motion Picture After being offended by the official Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy movie using actors, Spongebob makes a movie with the real heroes. Despite being one of the weaker Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episodes and having a very young title, this episode is great. It uses a lot of the show's characters well, and it has a lot of very funny comedy. 8. Krabs vs Plankton On his way to seal the formula, Plankton skips on the fuel and sues Mr. Krabs for the Yakko wet fuel sign. This conflict is interesting and one of Plankton's best schemes. And the reveal what's in the case is a clever ending that was unexpected. 7. Fear of a Quarry Patty after days of the Krusty Krab being open 24-7, Spongebob develops a fear of Krabby Patties. This episode is really funny and it's the last episode by C.H. Green right before he left to make chowder. 6. Saying Out Mr. Krab sells his restaurant and his employees for suitcases of money, then realises he has no hobbies. This concept is really good and carries an amazing one-time character. Also, this episode raises questions by the fact Spongebob and Squidward can't quit. I guess Squid on Strike sending was canon. 5. Patrick Smart Pants After falling off a cliff, Patrick becomes smart, and Spongebob and Patrick find they can't be friends anymore. I really appreciate how smart Patrick wasn't written like a jerk, and also how surprised the emotional episode is. 4. Dunces and Dragons Spongebob and Patrick go back in time to medieval times and have to save the princess from Plankton's ancestor probably. This was a really good plot to make into a double nth episode. As well as that, it's fun to see all the characters' ancestors. It also has some very really funny jokes, has multiple great songs. 3. Skill Crane Mr. Krabs gets a crane machine at the Krusty Krab that Squidward can't win at. This episode is really funny to see Squidward's insanity over a crane machine. And how he is like, I will only do one more, but keeps doing another and another, etc. It is also relatable because of how rigged those machines are. 2. Krusty Towers Mr. Krabs makes the Krusty Krab a hotel where the employees will never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. This episode is both really memorable and really funny. It also does a good job at building up karma for Mr. Krabs in the second half of the episode. And now, honourable mentions are Best Frenemies, Karate Iron, Shell of a Man and Miss Puff Your Fired. 1. The Best Day Ever Spongebob's plans for this day to be the best day ever, but bit by bit it goes wrong. The song is great, but that's not the only reason for this episode being here. Especially since the Spongebob musical version is better. Anyway, this episode is great because the interaction of the characters, which includes all of the main characters except Plankton. Especially because this episode has proof that Squidward and Spongebob are actual friends. It's because Squidward invited him to his concert. With all that said, that is why this episode is the second best episode so far in the series. In conclusion, season 4 is way weaker than the first three, but still good overall. The end.